Picture this, a tug of war between two powerhouses, France and Niger, locked in a standoff since the coup. But now, breaking news has arrived, victory for Niger. Hold on to your seats as we unravel the remarkable turn of events that is shaking the diplomatic world. It's been like a never-ending game of tug of war. Since the July coup, France and Niger have locked horns, neither side showing signs of yielding. But on September 24, 2023, a seismic shift occurred. The man himself, President Emmanuel Macron, spilled the beans during an interview with France 2 television. He dropped a bombshell, declaring, we are putting an end to our military cooperation with the de facto authorities of Niger because they don't want to fight terrorism anymore. The decision to end the cooperation is because we are not there to deal with internal politics and be hostages of putschists. He also added that he has spoken to the deposed President Mohamed Bazoum and told him that if France has decided to bring back its ambassador, and in the coming hours our ambassador and several diplomats will return to France. Recall that after the July coup, the military junta ordered the French ambassador to leave the country and it later revoked his visa and instructed police to expel him. But the diplomat remained in place because, according to the French presidency and authorities, they did not recognize the junta's authority. Speaking about the withdrawal of the 1,500 French troops stationed in the country, President Macron said that withdrawal will be organized in the coming weeks. They will come back in an orderly manner in the weeks and months to come, and for that, we will coordinate with the Putschists because we want this to happen calmly. He also added that there will not be any French soldiers in Niger by the end of 2023. The news was met with celebration by the military juntas in Niger. In a statement posted to Niger State Television, Telesahel, Niger's ruling military power said it welcomes France's decision to pull its troops from the country. This Sunday, we celebrate another step towards Niger's sovereignty. French troops and the French ambassador will be leaving Niger by the end of the year, the statement said. Imperialist and neo-colonialist forces are no longer welcome on our national territory. Any person, institution, or structure whose presence threatens the interests and outlook of our country will have to leave the land of our ancestors, whether they like it or not, it added. Our resistance will be unwavering, and we will deal with any institution or structure attempting to challenge the higher interests of our nation. However, it seems it's not only France that wants to leave the country. Reports suggest that the United States may begin withdrawing troops from Niger in the coming weeks. This potential move would see a significant reduction in the roughly 1,100 US troops stationed in Niger. As the dust settles on the seismic shift, the world watches closely. France's policy in Africa faces a significant setback, especially after pulling troops out of neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso in recent years following coups. What are your thoughts on this game-changing moment? Share your comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more updates on global events that shape our world. Thanks for joining us today, and stay tuned for more groundbreaking news.